What is happening my beautiful people? Welcome back to the Hashtag United channel and look who I'm joined with. It's the runner up of the Hashtag Academy. Who are we going up against and where are we? At home, league game against Cockfosters. It's a bit nippy today but we're looking forward to it. Let's be happy. Let's go. You right. <laughs> right, so it's only fair. We've done the big reveal of Honesty's fades and waves. This is the big reveal of Stampy's new haircut. Right, don't, don't mug me though. It's been two months. Two months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back, back. Let's do a 360. Come on. Yes. Everyone's getting fresh trims out here. Yanni, why have you not got one yet? Oh, dead trim over there. You're the camera out of my face, man. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't put the camera on my face when I've got a trim, but he wants to do this. When do you have a trim? Shut up, man! <laughs> So we're all playing tech ball and there's a bit of cheating going on this week. Why are you cheating for? Excuse me? You're che cheating. Is there cheating going on? I've just rocked up. Yeah, there's been a bit of cheating going on. But with these boys, right? Oh, you. having a stitch up, mate. What? Stitch up. Stitch up. Team here. Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah, Ricky, we're winning team. Winning team. Yes, winning team. Hey, you look like you're making pee. Hey, I've called me Ricky Evans nowadays. I've got my shoes in my pocket. <laughs> I got, only got 900 quid in it. <laughs> Fortnite. Let the people know how good we are. Let the people know how good you are. <sighs> Mate, what can I say? I just I turn up on any game I play, so. <laughs> Touch test here with Ryan Adams. It's gone up. Ah, oh, it's the guy that can do it all. Like right, so clearly he's coming for it. Okay, someone else wants it, but let's go. Oh, that's Willow, that. Oh, apparently Willow wants it. Oh, oh that's going in the edit. <laughs> Second chance. No chance. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you, hit it, hit it, hit it. <laughs> can you give us some generic football phrases that you can hear on a football pitch? Turn and face, get in shape. Get in shape. Go and press. Go and press. Squeeze. Squeeze is a big one, but that's more Sunday league. Okay. Uh, and beat him. I beat him. I say it's a H a lot. Beat him. Beat him. When he gets the ball down, yeah. he has to run at him. Instead, he just stops. Okay. So and and any more? Winners! That's Winners! One. Give it to us, boys. Nil, nil. <laughs> What's the one thing that Ricky Evans says to you on the pitch? I've just told him to give you some generic football phrase, and he said that he has one that he tells you all the time. What? Guess Rick? what it is? Yeah, that Rick always says to you. Run. I right, get a bit of height from him, man. Oh my God! <laughs> Are you drunk? Do that. That's a bit too much, but he's done so well there. Go on, Smudger. First take. What? Yeah. Finish. Wow. I think he. Uh, is he scoring today? Oh! We've got Richo. We've got Charlie Morley. The athlete's diet, man. Eight out of ten, what are we talking on this one? Uh, I've had one bite so far, eight out of ten. Hold on, who's this? It's Sebi and Jackie H. Mate, mate this, this guy has been running around with a torn ACL. He's very dangerous behaviour. What are you talking about, please? I'm not happy I've got that. my operation next on Friday. No, but so it's slippy it's grass. Fine, it slips, it's fine. You can rupture it even more. It's fine. Being back on the pitch. Turf here. Perfect, isn't it? So, how are you Perfect. feeling though, anyway? All right, not too bad. Out for the whole season. Nine to 12 months recovery period. So, that's my season done and dusted. Um, but at the minute, I'm still on the same goals as Harry Honesty. So. <laughs> wow. Shot. And I do tell him that. You don't need to do the meme. No. Wow. I just He's there. Me. I expect, you know, at home, for there be opportunity for us to utilise our forward players a little bit more, particularly we're looking at, you know, Jesse, can we get the ball 
into his feet on the half turn where he can go and, and hurt people. Can we get the ball into H? He was in great form on Saturday. Can we keep getting it out there? Can he run his defenders? And Ryan as well. Other than that, it's just it's work hard as a minimum and go out there and win the game. Play at a tempo. Play at a tempo. Play with a purpose. But play with confidence. Play with, if it's on and we can find feet, let's do it. But don't take that literally and be playing, making bad decisions. You know, not straight balls into people where they can go nowhere with it. Let's go. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Hashtag United game. First time in a while we've been at home, back at Tilbury's ground, of course, Chad Fields, taking on Cockfosters. Okay? They're currently 10th in the league. That's the definition of mid-table. Uh, they've won four, they've also lost four, and they've drawn in the league also. So very kind of medium form from Cockfosters. Uh, they're a decent side though and they're looking to, to do one on us tonight. We're on a great run of form. Six wins in a row in the league. Can we make it seven? Going through the game with me tonight, I am joined and I'm delighted to say I'm joined by Mr. Hashtag Shory. How are you, sir? I'm fantastic, mate. Buzzing for another Hashtag United game. Uh, expecting three points tonight, to be honest. The seeing where these are in the league and the good run of form that we've been on at the moment. Three points, got to be in the bag. That Thank is you. what a good run of form gives you, is that expectation, isn't it? And we have to deal with that pressure now under the lights. Got to say, Tilbury pitch looking lovely tonight. Yeah, it, it literally looks absolutely amazing. So we're looking to see a great game of football. We do want to see a great game. <laughs> I mean, we've had some games on not so great pitches recently, so it's nice to come back. As usual, we've got a few players missing for injury, but we're going to take a look at the team now and see who's playing for hashtag. In goal, we've got Tim Pittman. He keeps his place. Uh, Ross Gleed also keeps his place at left back. Centre back, Wilson and Singano. Right back, Peddy means the same back four for two games in a row. Who'd have thunk it? Centre mid, Ricky Evans is joined by Sam Biles, back from a little injury he picked up before the last game. Ahead of Sam, you've got Harry Honesty on the left. Jesse Wallalassen, who scored two goals on the weekend, in the hole. Ryan Adams on the right with the armband. And up front, George Smith, who's the top goal scorer now with seven goals this season. And the joint top assister with four. On the bench, Sam Rajgill, Tashan Richmond, Cav Clark, Jack Martin and Izu. Ricky Evans getting us underway then. Hashtag back in the blue shorts for a change. And as you know, Shaw is joining me on commentary. But I'm also delighted to say I'm joined by uh, ex-England manager and current Crystal Palace manager, Roy Hodgson. Roy, what are you expecting from today's match? Well, I'm expecting a very, very solid performance from Hashtag. We're really all, over, all over the pitch, to be honest with you. Sort of a 3-0 win with maybe a Jesse Banger, though, at some point. But, you know, we'll see. Well, it's actually Cockfoss is coming forward at the moment, Roy. Putting the ball into the box, looking for an early start. Tim Pittman had to respond, and he did. Come on, boys. Right, Jesse to deliver. The ref's still not happy. Oh, he's now saying he can he can take it. Okay, here we go. Ball comes in. It's very low. Oh, no. Looking for Ricky oh, Evans. Helps it on his way. Right foot. It almost sat in that top corner, uh, Shory. Absolutely. It was a really good effort. It looked like it was dipping the whole way. Shame to hit the top, but it's, like, it's a great start, that. It's a good corner from Jesse. Cockfosters sending it long once again. Luke Wilson gives it a shout. Sends it forward. And there's a chance now for Jesse to pick it up with Ryan Adams to his right. He finds him. Jesse continuing that overlap. Ryan coming inside. Gives it to Jesse. He's got George Smith to aim at in the box. Comes into his left foot though. Can he get a shot off? Hits it low. I don't think he had trouble with the keeper if it wasn't for the defender anyway. But uh, defender's cleared it. He goes to Gleedy on the left. It's a good switch of play from Hashtag. Gleedy's going to try and deliver it here. It's long. Towards the back post. Ryan Adams oh. wins the header. I think the Lino's flagged. Yeah, yeah. he was off. Yeah. Good effort, not... though. It Very good. good effort. Easy goal kick to be picked up, but good tracking back from Harry Honesty. Gets the ball back for Hashtag. Now giving uh, Ricky something to deliver into George Smith. He's going to try and take oh, it touch. down here in the box. Oh! oh fabulous what a goal. goal! Delivery from Ricky Evans was on point, but the touch was unbelievable. And the finish, second to none. Oh, my. I can't believe what I've just seen. It's an absolutely amazing ball in. George, oh my, he just takes it down in top corner like that. Very, oh my the, gosh. The improvisation on the on the takedown was unbelievable. Just, oh, the way he struck that half volley is absolutely sensational. That is why oh we God, signed what a boy. George Smith. That is his eighth goal of the season. The man's cooking on gas. Lovely assist from Ricky as well. Literally, it's what we've seen all game, the way he's been taking the ball down like that from long balls. And the, the way he's just done that in the box there. Sensational. Jesse with the corner now. Can we make it? 2-0 to hashtag. Here comes the delivery. It's good. Oh, it's bounced oh. in the box. Luke Wilson swung a foot at it. And then it's another shot. Oh, it's a good strike, you know, from Izu that hit it. He won the corner himself, but the keeper watched it all the way come into his arms. Sam Biles to Izu. 
Jesse takes a touch past his man. Turn. That's quick. And he slips what in George Smith, ball. who's onside. Oh. oh, and really should have scored. It should be two for the game. And Jesse should have got a lovely assist there. Literally what you were just talking about with Jesse, with how he's just going to come into games. That turn then, he, you, you literally saw him turn, around, turn his head around. He knew exactly what he was going to do there. And a great ball into George. Ah, real shame. Should be two. We can't hold it against George because he just scored an absolute world here a few minutes ago. <laughs> I'm sure he'll take the next one. Forward from right back. Gives it to Ryan. Jesse's going to make his run. Ryan's going to look to find him, and he does. Nice chest control from Jesse. He's got George to aim at. Puts it in low. Oh, he's going to make it to George. Oh! oh what a <laughs> it's goal. the roof of the net again. Twice in one game, George has found the roof of the net. Great play and great assist from Jesse. I have just screamed and made a noise I didn't even know I could make. Um, Jesse, again. We've literally just said two seconds ago that Jesse's gonna gonna come in and, and do another bit of brilliance there, and George as well. We just absolutely love to see. It. He scored two half volleys this game now as well. It's his fourth goal in a week for Hashtag United. He scored two last week. And he scored two tonight. And you know what? There could be more. Two nil now. Eleven minutes still to go in the first half. Hashtag looking good. Cock Foster to deliver then. There's the ball. It's gonna drop in by the penalty spot. Luke Wilson finds it like a magnet head. Harry Honesty on the ball. Needs a runner in front of him. You know what? He might just run Go. it himself. Go. Is he going through the middle here? And he finds Jesse out on the left. Ryan Adams at the back post. George occupying a position as well. Jesse, Jesse finds George. Still George. Gets it over to Izu. Izu maybe just rushing Ooh. that pass there. Izu, I think, can sometimes get a bit of a nosebleed syndrome when he gets forward yeah. and, and it, it finds itself in unfamiliar territory. Nice footwork from George Smith. George again. Good Isn't feet for a big man. Amazing. That's a lovely switch. Oh, no. Not only... Ryan Adams was through on goal there. Well, it was through. Izu's been hurt, though. Because he's... Izu, Izu he, down. I don't think Izu's the type to make a big deal out of something there. He was rolling around quite a bit. And he yeah. played a fantastic ball to Ryan, actually. It was taken out afterwards. It's going to be at least a booking. And it's the lad... Is it the number nine that the ref was just talking to? It's no, a it's real seven. shame, that. It's the seven Carroll that's going to get a talking to here. I think you're right, Spen. They're getting very frustrated at this point. We're kind of playing them off the park at the moment. It'd be a real shame for Izu if he has to come off injured. Once, because he's come on to replace someone else that's injured. So it would limit Devs' options. But two, he's having a great game. He's actually been amazing. He's picked up the ball in midfield so many times. And he's even looked dangerous going forward as well. You're right, Yaya Torre. Really fancying a George hat trick. He could have he gone back on it. He could have gone back for the yellow card the ref there. Like he could have played on and then given it to him. Izu's up and back on the pitch, but he's limping quite heavily. And another late tackle. And a scream this time from Ross Gleed, which is not very Ross Gleed like. And Cockfosters are losing it right now. And this could be a serious booking because the, the ref's run straight over to the Lino to get an opinion from him. And it looks like Cockfosters have lost their heads, Shory. What on earth is going on? Literally, I'm looking at the other side of the pitch and I'm seeing Glee down. I heard a scream. Over here, we're on the opposite side of the pitch in a, in a closed door press box. And I heard a scream. It's another yellow card. Yellow but card. I mean, damn it's, right. Ref's got to keep this under control. And that's the number nine, is it not? That was, was getting in trouble earlier. And the ref's going to blow for half time there. It's 2 0 to hashtag United at the break. Pretty decent half. Made a little bit sour towards the end of the half with some bad challenges and a couple of yellow cards for Cockfosters. But in general, Shory, you have to say hashtag in control. I, I would definitely say so. I think, yeah, like you just mentioned there, a little bit at the end was a bit annoying, but I think it, during that spell as well, we actually played really well. Uh, we, look, we look like scoring four or five at that point, so hopefully we can just take that into the second half. If we get the next goal, game's over. Let's hope we do that and uh, get a third and maybe more. But right now, 2-0 to hashtag. Let's see what Devs has to say. Let's just settle a little bit because it, it seems as though we've just just allowed the two, the two incidents, like two bookings, to just... For us to lose our focus a little bit. Things to be mindful of. Their biggest threat is the 10. The boy who's playing in kind of, he's almost got, he's just got a free role, hasn't he? He's, he's, he's playing in the same kind of area as, as Jesse, but he's going right the way across and all over. And when he gets on the ball and he carries it, he, sh he carries it with pace and he's strong. The opportunity that we have to keep taking is to get the ball wide and this isn't you haven't got to slam it wide you haven't got to force it wide you haven't got to force it and asking you to force it into H and into Ryan the ball on and the, 
the one time outside that we got it absolutely spot on, we've left in one on one, he's down the line, you get the cross in, we get a corner from it. Expect a reaction. We need to start fast again. We need to start fast again. Yeah? Go, come on. Okay, we're underway for the second half and uh, obviously a very decent first half, but don't take my word for it. We've got Conor McGregor in here with us and he's got some words to say on the first half, Conor. I think I think it was a great performance from Hashtag. I think I look around the pitch and I think there's a lot of leaders out there, do you know what I'm trying to say? So. Oh, it's a ball for Cock Fosters. Oh, Connor. That's not a good start at all. And we can't invite you back in a hurry, McGregor, because uh, we've conceded as soon as you started talking. That is straight from kickoff. Terrible start to the second half and a potential injury to a Hashtag player. I can't see who it is that's down. Is it Sam Biles? No. It is, it's Sam Biles that's down. I suppose the worst half to a start I've ever seen, Shuri. You're back now, are you, Shuri? I, I I don't want to be back, but I am. I can't really believe what's just happened. Man of the pit. Looking for George Smith. George, great, great hold up play. again. And he's found Izu, a.k.a. Yaya Torre of non-league. Harry Honesty gets and get a free kick, surely. He does. He's got some great people to aim at in there, though, in Izu, in George, and Ricky Evans. There's the ball. It is very great high. Line. Oh, you know, it's pretty much done what you thought he was going to do, but he just put it too far wide. Jesse now can spread it over to Ryan Adams. Can we get Ryan into the game in an attacking sense now? Gives it to Biles on the overlap. Gets it back again. He's going to whip it in, looking for George Smith. Oh, decent play. Everything was good about that move, apart from the header at the end. Yeah, apart from the header almost going for a, a throw in. Yeah, no, it's very good play. Thrown down the line. Flicked on. Come to Karazoglu now. Izu once again there, and he's having a fantastic game in there, it has to be said. A bit of work for Sam Biles to do here. He tries to oh, take it down. He probably no. shouldn't have. And he's hit, and it's going to just go oh, wide. Oh, my. And that's a big let off. And you've got to ask yourself, I love that, that Sam's got the confidence to try and take touches out of the sky like that, but sometimes you just got to head it clear. Hashtag looking a bit better on the ball now. Izu's going to send it over to Ross Gleed. Cleedy getting forward. He's got Ricky next to him. Go back to Izu. Over to Biles. Biles looking to deliver it towards George Smith. There's only one man Harry's to aim at, but he's going to come through to Harry Honesty at the back post. Can Harry find someone? Fizzes it across. What oh, a goal. That's lovely. And it's Jesse with the goal. He's fifth of the season and a second assist of the season for Harry Honesty. I mean... The ball's gone over the top, gone at the back. I mean, Harry Honesty, he's picked it up. He's picked out a great ball. And Jesse, who else? I mean, his finishing is just absolutely amazing. Y you trust him so much to put that in. It was one of those balls that, that landed perfectly at his foot. And he hit it so well, so true. Kept it on the ground. Keeper could do nothing. Straight in. Absolutely love to see it. Uh, it's, just, it's just come at a great time as well because we were looking a bit nervous then. I think that's really just going to calm it down. And uh, hopefully we can go forward now and get a few more. Main thing, though, is the three points. Looking for George. Good takedown again from George. Oh, that's a foul, is it not? Ref says no. Another ball over the top. And he's onside, apparently. Eleven's going to get there. Karagoslu up against Luke Wilson right now. Ball comes in. Fry gets a knee to it. It's a messy one. And he gets a second go as well, but the defence deals with it. Out. It's been cleared. Luke Wilson tries to get through the 50-50. Marshall clipping it towards the back post. Oh, he's gone for a dink. Too much on it. Greedy. Sending it long. Harry Honesty to chase it. Get something on it. Up against his man now. Can he deliver? It's a good ball again from Harry. Oh. And you know what? It's great crossing from Harry Honesty. It Honestine. is brilliant. Absolutely amazing cross. And you've George. got to say, George probably should have a hat trick. Probably should have a hat trick, yeah. We can't take anything away from him. He's scored two amazing goals. But um, yeah, especially that one in the first half could have, could have 100% been a hat trick. I still think it could be coming though. There's a chance. Running through. Look at, oh, he gets a free kick there for sure. Now, I think this might be a little bit too far for Jesse. I don't know. It's probably about 30 yards out. Surely Jesse will not score this. He only scores bangers. I think that goal tonight would have been his first goal in the box for hashtag. It's a very good point. He's going to hit it, and it's way too high. And we can forgive him that because he gets so many of them right. Yeah. Right sort of technique, just, just way too much on it. Cockfoss is now looking to get another goal. And that's a great ball over to the left side. Got a couple of people to aim at in the box. Delivery is going to come in now. Left-footed ball across the box. Had to be headed away by Gleedy to make sure. And he did just that. 
Well, out of Khalid. Such a consistent player. Corner goes short. Going to come to Marshall here. Allowed enough time to whip it in towards the back post. Free header. Goal. And that's was, bad. That was, is just bad. It was always a goal as soon as he whipped it to that back post then. And we have made a game that really shouldn't be that close. Close. There's been so many chances of Hashtag that haven't been converted. Yes, yeah, some great conversions of the goals that have got in. But we've let them score way too easily. Twice with ball to the back post. It's causing problems for us. Agreed. Well, yeah, we haven't been ruthless enough in front of goal. We've had a lot of chances. Jesse now on the half turn. Still on the ball. Running forward. Jesse, go on. George Smith, they love that one too. Is it a three? Smith's on side. Can he put it back across? He fizzes it across the goal. And what a touch by the defender there. <laughs> that would have been one of the best goals I've seen live. The, 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 just the way the one, two, one, two, one, two. Still going here. Ryan looking to find Izu. Can Izu put it across the box? Great defending again from Cock Fosters. Got to make these crossing opportunities count like Cock Fosters have done to us. Here comes the ball from Jesse. It beats the front post. This time Luke Wilson trying to get under it. And it's going to give Cock Fosters to a, here. a chance to counter. Yeah, exactly. Number 11 on the ball. Kara Gosloo. Harry honestly He's tracking back. Biles does enough. Jesse going to close this down. Harry can close this down as well, making it hard for Cock Fosters. They're going to long balls. have to go long, but they've put players up and they've left bodies forward and Pittman's a bit off his line. Oh, oh my word. I was worried then. I thought it was going to go over him, but Pittman made it back in time. Literally, they've done a random ball over the top and it, <laughs> the ball has gone and scored from it. We're two minutes into injury time. Maybe two to go. We need to stay, leave more men back. Look, look how many they're leaving up. Yeah. It's three on three at the back. Hopefully there's just a bit of intent to just keep this in the corner here. Oh, someone's talked themselves into the car booking, I think, and it might be it might be the skipper rough. It is. Oh no. He's been sent off. It's a sin bin. It's a it's late a sin, bin. sin bin. And I think it's the first one we have seen in Essex Senior League. It's a sin bin for the captain rough. I don't know what he said. And uh, it's gonna be the rest of the game off for him, obviously, because I mean, there's only a few minutes left of injury time. Very ideal for us. I mean, should just make it a lot easier to close out these last few minutes. If you're going to get Simbin, it's a great time to get Simbin. Yeah. You're not going to miss the full 10 yeah. minutes. Four minutes we've had now. He's oh, offside. Can we not play on? There's the final yes. whistle. Okay, we seal it. 3-2. We made it tougher work than it probably needed to be. But some very good performances there. I've been joined actually just now in the in the press box by uh, Tommy Shelby from uh, Peaky Blinders, who's going to give man of the match for us. Right, all right, Spencer, you're right. Yep. Um, I thought it was a great, it was a great performance from the boys. It's, um, but I think I think you look up front. Um, you know, George Smith, he was great, great the whole game. Uh, great to hold up play. Some brilliant volleys and yeah, fantastic. So Tommy Shelby has given. Man of the match to George Smith. Special mention to Jesse as well. We've got a goal and assist. And I think Izu off the bench was fantastic tonight as well. Uh, hashtag Shory's back in here now. Shory, talk about esports quickly. You've got a big qualifier this weekend. How are you feeling? Yeah, feeling good, mate. Uh, me and Tom are going to be in the HQ playing back to back. So, uh, you know, we're going to egg each other on. Uh, playing good at the moment, both of us. So, yeah, looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, let's score some goals. Yeah, best of luck to Shory and Tom. And, of course, Harry, who's going over to Canada for the foreseeable future. The players qualifiers there. So, Best of luck to all our esports boys. And of course, make sure you follow Shory. It was him doing the accents if you haven't figured it out by now. <laughs> Very much enjoyed them. We have to work on some new ones for the next time. Yes, definitely. Right. Definitely going to need some new ones. Good stuff. Uh, great win for Hashtag. And over to Devs. It's really difficult. So I don't want to take away from the fact that we've, we've, we've got three points. I really don't. So obviously, what I've said, I want you to listen to what I, what I say, what I've got to say. I want you to take it on board. At the end of it, then you celebrate your three points like you celebrate your three points. But, but we spoke at half time, and we at half time we'd got first off we'd put ourselves in a position where we were so comfortable, such it put ourselves in such a comfortable position that it was almost as though we felt as though we didn't have to go out there and do any more to win the game. Twenty seconds, twenty seconds. It took for them to score a goal. 20 seconds. That's our, you can't, it's, it's from a kickoff. We have scored three <coughs> really good goals tonight. Th 
three really good goals. The two goals we've conceded, absolute dross. Because it really looked like we didn't want to do enough to defend what we had. We did not look like a side that hasn't been beaten in the league since the opening day. Beyond that, we didn't look like a side that's won every game in the league since the opening day. Not just unbeaten. We won't keep winning games with that approach. We won't. We won't. Well done. It's a win. All right, now, and I've had my moan, all right, and I don't want people moping about and I don't want people sulking, but collectively and together, we, have, we, we, we know. We know we've got to improve. I'll be very, very surprised if I come up to anyone with it in, in here that you might disagree with what some of us say, but you won't for, for one minute disagree that tonight we haven't been good enough. Play your music, celebrate, enjoy it, but don't forget about what's been said. And let's have a determination as a group, determination as a group, to put right the things we're not, get, we're not getting right at the moment. Yeah? Good. Well done, lads. Sam, we've heard from Devs. It was a 3-2 win, but perhaps not as convincing as you'd like it to be. What do you think? Yeah, the game in the end turned out obviously quite tough. They got two goals back and made it really hard work for us. We were 3-1 up with, and we were kind of cruising. So we really made hard work of it, and we can't really make a habit of that going forward. Of course, we've heard about the stuff we need to work on, but what are the positives to take from the game? We created lots of chances. I mean, three... We could have probably got another two or three, but then um, obviously conceding two just it makes a tough game. But yeah, like I say, positive is we've got three points out of the game. We move on. Not every game is going to go, you know, you know, play well and get three points and keep a clean sheet. So we got the three points and we're going to work on it in training and see how we can improve. And yes, this is where the video is going to be wrapped up. Stampy. It was a bit of a weird one tonight. We had some good spells, but a lot of room for improvement. Uh, yeah, we had a little bit of a discussion in the change rooms. Uh, we know we're not playing to our potential right now, but it's good because only good can come from it going forward. So we've got a lot to improve on. But again, we take the three points, we move. I'm talking about going forward. Who have we got next? We have got Hoddesden away. In the league on Saturday. But guys, if you have enjoyed this video, be sure to drop it a like. Subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell for Snappy. And as always, don't forget to hashtag it.